Hey guys, Alex here and welcome back to what is becoming a weekly roundup of all things Swindon Town and League Two, as there is less and less important things to talk about regarding Swindon Town recently, given that our season is pretty much over. Um, and we're also covering a lot of League Two stuff between teams that actually have things still to play for. So today on the video we will be reacting to the shameful and diabolical for all draw with bottom of League Two and bottom of the Football League, Rochdale. Um, absolutely, just absolutely terrible game. We'll get into that. We're also going to be previewing Swindon Town's defeat against Stockport County. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean our game against Stockport County that we've got coming up on Saturday at the county ground. Um, and then we're also going to throw in some quick facts about three big games coming up between teams that actually have something still to play for in the division. Sound good? All right, let's get into it. Let's go. All right, Rochdale then. Um, I don't know what to say really anymore about Swindon Town. This season has been so miserable and so disappointing um, that there's not really much new content, new ground to really cover here. Um, we were tuning up against bottom of the Football League, Rochdale, literally the worst team in the entire Football League and have been for the entire season. I said at the start of the season in my predictions video, which you can check out on my channel, that Rochdale would get relegated um, and they are going to get relegated, which is pretty obvious. They're about 10 points adrift at the bottom of the bottom of the table at the moment. Um, and, and Swindon still can't go there um, and hold on to a 2-0 lead. We throw it away and we draw for all, conceding in the 92nd minute, again from a corner. And then, you know, looking, looking at the game, watching the game, it looked like we could have even lost. I mean, maybe we should have lost that game against Rochdale. Um, and it's just it's just ridiculous, isn't it? Charlie Austin, the big man on the wall back there, um, scoring all four goals in the draw. But what are the rest of the team doing? Like literally, like no one stands up to be counted anymore. It, Charlie Austin must honestly think, what am I doing here? Being completely sold a pup, completely missold when coming back to Swindon. He said we're going to go for promotion. We we clearly are not going to get promoted this year. There's this it's possible on paper. There's about an eight point gap with about 10 or so games left, but it, it would take a miracle turnaround in form and a miracle turnaround in the performances of all the players involved with the club at the moment, so can't see it happening. Um, and Rochdale was another example of that, conceding four against a team that have struggled to score in all of their games so far this season. Um, they only had one win or something since January before the game. Uh, it's just it's just ridiculous, isn't it? It's just unacceptable. I mean, I guess if you're being positive, you've got to say that if if we've not got anything to play for really at this point, at least have some entertaining games. And I guess for a neutral, it, it probably was an entertaining game. Eight goals, um, come back, late goal. Um, it had a lot of different things going on there. Um, but from a Swindon Town perspective, it's, and from a Rochdale perspective, I guess, it's, it's just not good enough because we, we both had to win, really. Um, in our goal of achieving the playoffs and their goal of achieving staying in the league. Um, we both need a win. A draw doesn't help any of us. So it's, it's just a shambles, isn't it? Um, when the season actually ends, we're going to do a video. We're going to go through the rebuild that Swindon Town clearly have to do um, in the summer if we're going to be competing at the top end of this division like we should be in the season to come. Um, be interesting to hear your thoughts as well about what players you would keep, what players you would get rid of. Um, I'm sure a lot of people want to get rid of Sanjo, the head of recruitment. We'll talk about that and the changes they clearly need to make in the recruitment drive in an upcoming video. There's just too much to say on that for right now. Um, but truly, truly miserable stuff. A preview of the Stockport game then. Um, it's going to be an incredibly tough game for Swindon Town. Stockport in the playoffs, one of the top seven best away teams in the entire division this so far this season, compared to Swindon being about 16th best home side um, on record so far this season. Um, so you would definitely favour the away team going into this game. They've got the better form, they're high in the division, they're good away, we're bad at home. It all adds up to one thing. Um, and... And I can't see anything other than the Stockport County win, really, I'm afraid. I really, really hate to say it. Um, but let's just hope that, at the very least, we can really give it a go. We can score some goals, put on a show for the fans, because if we don't deserve a performance right now after the, the miserable stuff we've had to see so far this season, um, we want players getting out on the pitch, showing us why they care about the club, why they want to be here. Um, because 
there are a lot of them there who you have to fight if they want to if they want to continue their careers in the football league, let alone with Swindon. Um, because if you if you're doing poorly at this level, there's not very further you can drop without going into semi professional football. Um, so it's that time of season where where players are really playing for contracts, and we've got to really just give it a good go. Stockport County are a good side. They battered us four 0 away in the FA Cup earlier this season. Um, they drew with us when we went to Edgeley Park earlier in the season. I did a vlog of that game. Check that out if you're interested. Um, with Swindon Town probably should have won that game, but Stockport still managed to get something out late on in the game. Um, but in this one, it's it it would be an incredible result for us if we were to get a draw or a win. Um, but ultimately, Stockport can't need more to play for, and 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 they're just looking a lot stronger than us at this moment in time. I can definitely see Stockport County mounting a charge in the playoffs, which is where I think they'll finish. They'll be in the playoff mix. Um, and, and they'll definitely be in contention for getting promoted for the second consecutive season after storming the conference last year. Um, many people predicted at the start of the season that they would be in the promotion mix again this year, and they are, and they are. Fair play to them. Um, Dave Chaloner, the manager, has done a fantastic job. They've got a blend of experience and quality, which is something that Swindon Town definitely don't have at the moment. Um, and fair play to them. It's a team that's on the up. It's a team that's that's doing all they can to get out of this league. Must be nice. Turning our attention away from Swindon then, what are the other big games happening this weekend in League 2? Well, we're going back to Rochdale for this one because they've got a very, very big game against Crawley Town this weekend. Rochdale travelling down to the Sussex side um, for a game that, again, they've got to win, which is pretty much every game for them in the rest of the season. But this one carries special significance because Crawley are the team currently sitting one place above the relegation zone Rochdale, rock bottom of the league, if Rochdale were to lose this game, they would then be 10 points adrift. And and it would be incredibly difficult for them to make that up at this point. Um, looking at Rochdale's fixtures, I think they've actually got eight games left after the Crawley game to make 10 points back up, which they're just not going to do. So if Rochdale do lose this weekend against Crawley, they will go down. If they manage to get a win, then... Scott Lindsay's men at Crawley Town will be sucked back into the relegation conversation. They've had good form recently, two wins and a draw in their last three games have put them in a fantastic position to stay up. But they're still in the battle. Hartlepool and Rochdale will still have something to say at the end of the season. And this is an absolutely enormous game. Relegation six-pointer all over. Moving up the table to the playoff conversation, we've got Sutton and Mansfield who are facing off against each other this Saturday. The two teams separated by only a couple of points and both needing wins to get into those playoff places so they can be in the mix at the end of the season. Personally, I think Mansfield will come out on top on this one. I think Sutton have, have been impressive so far in terms of how high in the table they've been able to get themselves, but I think it'll just come short. Mansfield are a team that I do actually really like. They've got a good blend of quality in there, and I think they will just pip Salford into the playoffs at the end of the season, but they'll need a result on Saturday to do it. The final big game of the weekend that I want to talk about is at the very top end of the table. It is second place Stevenage, who host Salford City, who are currently in seventh place. The form is pretty much identical in the last six or so games between these two teams, but Stevenage are one of the best teams in the division when it comes to their home record. I mean, they're one of the best teams in the division when it comes to any record, aren't they? I mean, they're second. But especially at home, they've been absolutely formidable. Um, Salford going to have to come there with Louis Barry, with Elliot Watt, with the quality players that they've got and try and do some damage against one of the most effective teams in the entire division. I don't think Salford will have enough. I think Stevenage will get the W as they try and chase down Leighton Orient at the top of the league. Um, if Stevenage can't get a result, then it could basically hand the title on a plate to Orient, especially if Orient are likely to get a result on Saturday so they travel to relegation-threatened Hartlepool United. Do you agree with my assessment of this weekend's games? Am I being too harsh on Swindon Town? Please let me know down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe as always. Up the freaking swing. Let's go.